What's homebrew? Coming at ya. Coming at ya hard and tiny. Tiny? Yeah, hard oh, and man. tiny. What do we got today, Dad? We've got Tiny by Wirebacher tonight. Da, da, da. Tiny. Look at that. Oh, looks so good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, by Wirebacher. Yep, see. yep. Okay, here we go. He's getting this baby open. We're going to get the pour going. Meanwhile, this is a Belgian style Imperial Stout. By the way, this was given to us by Anthony Rapino in a beer trade. Thank you, thank you, Anthony. Yeah. Belgian style Imperial Stout at 11.8% ABV. All right. We're oh, yeah. I mean, this here. is looking good. Gosh. And my goodness. This is a... Uh... Woo. Man, did you see the head on that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, look at this. This is a really dark brown head on here. And um, and this is totally opaque. But it's like oh, yeah. a dark, dark Man, chocolate, okay. you know? Totally opaque. Jeez. Yeah, that's dark. Yeah. That's dark. I mean, gosh, you got all this. Yeah. Oh, God, it's leaving it's a little so lazy. Brown. It looks like molasses on yeah. top. Well, let's get a nose on this. Yeah, let's do that. The first impression I get is like a, the Belgian yeast, but yeah. but there's so much dark stuff. I mean, you got this got cow cow dark chocolate going on, and and this real roasty malts on there. Yeah, I get I get roasted malts. Uh, get a semi chocolate. I mean, it, you'd almost want to say coffee, but I think it's more the roasty malt scent you get in it. You get the the Belgian style yeast, and then you get a tiny bit of dark fruits in there. Yeah. But it's really hard being, you know, that it's actually the Belgian yeah. And we've warmed this up a bit. I mean, I'm guessing that we're at 50 to 55 range right now. Yeah. So uh, I expected to get more of the dark fruit aromas. Yeah. Mostly it's that Belgian yeast aromas along yeah, with the, the chocolate. This and, one definitely with the yeast they use, it's very prominent and it's taking yeah. over the smells. Yeah. So let's let's get a taste let's on this. Let's get a nose on there. Get a nose on there. Get drinking. Okay. Good. I'm picking up some dark fruit now. Yeah, definitely picking up the dark fruits. Yeah, for me it seems like at the beginning, I'm getting like uh, the dark yeast, the, the dark fruits and some yeast. Okay, and then the then the roastiness comes in along with the chocolate. It's really sweet. You definitely get that Belgian style taste in there. The sweetness to it. You get the dark fruits. You know, but you kind of get like a not a coffee taste, but like more of a roasted barley taste in it. Yeah, very roasted. It's not so sweet as some. Like there's some that are just like super super sweet. They're sweet malts for sure, but it's not like an overpowering sweetness. Very, very no, I drinkable. just smelled, I meant a Belden style sweetness. Yeah, too. yeah, that's very what it drinkable. Is. It's just so confusing to the senses. I mean, when you come, I find this mix of blending to be the most confusing to my palate. We, you know, we did one other one. Mm -hmm. We did by Allagash, the Allagash yeah. Black, and I remember getting a similar kind of thing off of that. That the Belgian stouts are very interesting, but. This one's, I don't know, it's a little more straightforward to me. The yeah. Belgian yeast is there, it's very present, but it's not throwing me off because this has a lot more stout quality mm -hmm. uh, to it. Um, a little less than the Belgian yeast. You are getting some of those dark fruits. They're not as predominant, though, as the chocolate and the roast, I don't think. Yeah. I just get the slight dark fruits and then I get that roastiness in it, which is different. Wow, this one I think is tasty. I'm really liking this one. I like the chocolate on it. It's a good chocolate. Then at the end, I almost get like a, the roastiness that I get on some browns, actually, as opposed to stouts. I can see that. I, I, I get the taste in that. Yeah, it's like a medium roast, I guess I would say. The chocolate seems like it's kind of a mix between like a like a dark cocoa, bitter mm -hmm. to bittersweet, and then I get this, this flash, flash almost of a, the, a sweeter chocolate. But yeah, I, I, 
I don't know how to describe this. I mean, I really am getting the dark chocolate, almost towards a bitter chocolate, the dark cow cow, 80 something percent. But then I get just a little bit of that sweeter toward, toward not a milk chocolate, but a sweeter dark chocolate. I would well, say. Well, for me, it's even hard to tell that there's chocolate flavor in there. I know it's there, but I'm not like getting huh. a prominent taste. I mean, really, I'm getting a lot of alcohol. Like, you can definitely Austria. tell that it's 11.8%, yeah. but it's that, gosh, that just Belgian flavor is just screwing with my palate right now. And then at the end, that those roasted malts at the end really hit me. When everything kind of settles and sits at the end, the chocolate fades away, and I'm mostly getting roasty malts in my Yeah, that's what I get at the end. Those and that's what I said, like a, a medium roast, you know, more mm -hmm. like some really nice browns. Well, it's pretty smooth, you know, a little bit silky smooth. Mm -hmm. It is. It is texture. Pretty and what do you what would you say the body? Would you say it's medium or full? It's a full body. It definitely has depth to it. It's kind of heavy on the mouth, I'd say. I think for me, this is an excellent beer. I'm really digging on this one. So for me, this is a 93. Hmm. Uh I think for the style, it's a good beer. Now we're working on style. Mm -hmm. And as style-wise, I think it's a good beer, but I wasn't impressed or anything, and I felt that it was lacking in some areas. I felt like it could have used more of the darker tones. Like, we had the dark fruits and everything, but I almost missed out in the stout style because of the the Belgian. So for me, I'm going to give it uh, an 87. Those chocolate flavors with just some light dark fruits and the Belgian, I'm just digging on it. And so for personal, I'm going to go down a tad, but I'm still putting it up right up in that X category. I'm going to give this a 91 for me. This is where we probably differ. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, this is where we differ. And uh, for me, it's uh, there's something about that yeast or whatever it is. the. Belgian taste that's coming off of it mixed with this. Last time I actually enjoyed Allagash's and I enjoyed the flavor difference. This one I can't even get past it. Hmm. I'm like having troubles. And for that, I, I really am trying to enjoy this beer and see the differences, but I haven't. I'm straight up 80. I, it's a good <laughs> beer. It's just, I'm, it's, I'm not, I'm never going to get this again. That's fine. <laughs> and again, I think I like it just because it has so much more to the stout aspect. Yeah. But yeah. So no, folks, we're not always the same. <laughs> no. no. Dad's, Dad's going to take the rest of this after we're done. And that, that's just fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, from Clement's Homebrew, life is too short. To drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review.